presentation of colors presented by the Ogale High School Junior Air Force ROTC and the national anthem that will be sung by Amelia Hughes. All members of the armed forces and veterans may render the military salute in the manner provided for individuals in uniform. Please remain standing until the color guard has left the stage. Please be seated. <laughs> Good evening, and welcome to the 60th commencement ceremony for Yale High School. I'm Jeremy Solomon, and I have the honor and privilege to be the principal of this amazing high school. Tonight, we continue the time-honored traditions of recognizing these young adults' accomplishments as they finish their high school careers and begin the next chapters of their lives in post-secondary education, the military, and the workforce. I'm confident that regardless of the path laid out before our graduates, they will be prepared to take on any challenge and seize any opportunity that may be presented. With that being said, I'd like to seize the moment to remind everyone to turn their cell phones to vibrate as we proceed. <laughs> before we move forward, I'd like to recognize those individuals that put in the time and effort to make tonight such a special event. At this time, I'd like to recognize our guests on stage. First, from Brevard Public Schools, School Board Chair from District 4, Mr. Matt Susan. From Brevard County Public Schools, Assistant Superintendent for Secondary Leading and Learning, Dr. Stephanie Sullivan. From Johnson Middle School, Principal, Ms. Marina Middleton. Eastern Florida State College Director of Dual Enrollment, Early, Early College and Career Readiness, Ms. Shereen Lupton. From McGillie High School, Principal for Operations, Mr. John Rush. Assistant Principal for Curriculum, the Mr. Chris Hinkle. Guidance, guidance Department Chair and Acting Senior Class Counselor, Ms. Jen Giz. 
James Juice, Miss Amelia Briley. And James Juice, Miss Carrie Humphreys. This year's graduation committee includes Mr. Chris Hinkle, Mr. John Rush, Miss Jennifer Gibbs, Mr. Edgardo Fuster, Miss Wendy Albert, Miss Kathy Polos, Mr. Stephen Vilgas, Miss Carrie Holsenbach, Mr. Todd Ose, Miss Betsy Armstrong, and all the Valley High School faculty and staff that are here helping to guide our ship this evening. Chief John Fitzgerald, our Air Force Junior ROTC instructor. I'd be remiss if I didn't acknowledge the fact that it is so specially, it's so incredible to be able to host our event here at the King Center, as it's such a special venue. Thank you to the King Center staff for once again supporting our graduation ceremony. I'd also like to recognize all the O'Galley faculty present today. So if you're part of the O'Galley faculty, could you please come out on stage at this time? behind these students' past and future success. Your efforts are recognized and appreciated by all of our stakeholders. Thank you so much for what you bring to school each and every day. Thank you. If you are currently serving, have signed up to serve, or have served in the military, please stand and be recognized. Today. So if you're, an, if you're an O'Galley High School graduate, could you please stand and be We'll now begin with a few comments from the school board chair, Mr. Susan. your children come across our schools and we are so proud to have you a part of our school system and if it wasn't for you we wouldn't have the great things that we have at O'Galley today. For all the graduates, the world isn't going to be handing you over to success, but if you're willing to work for it, there's more than you can imagine out there to grab. You might piss people off mostly people who don't want it as bad as you do. Because the world isn't just dreamers or doers. It's the dreamer doers that make things happen. No idea proudly dies with, I had an idea once. Individuals proudly die with having chased the dream down, turning over every stone, pushing harder than things that got hard and making it come to life. Because social media might make it look like the world hands over success to those that are just in the right place at the right time, and things just happen for you. It's a lie. 
Right place, right time, and sheer grit and relentlessness is what makes it happen. And that's why I wanted to take a second and tell you the individual that sits to my right, right here, and your left, is one of the most amazing principals, and this is his last piece. And I want to tell you about what he did for your kids and your schools and what made it a difference. We are the only school in the United States that has, and I mean to say this, in the United States, that has land, sea, air, and space career and technical programs. The only one in the United States. That did not happen because it just happened. It wasn't just given, and I will tell you the fights that we had to bring the aviation hangar under McGinnis was one of the greatest fights that we had, both with the DOE in Tallahassee, both with the individuals here inside the community, and he made it happen for your kids to one day have an opportunity to set their mark on the stage in the future of our country. And I wanted to give him a thank you for that. I also wanted you to know that the flag that stands behind you, when I was, uh, he had an individual come to him and say, hey, did you know that all the flags that are inside of our government municipalities throughout the state of Florida, including our schools. 90% of them are made in China. And that is wrong. So the school decided that what they were going to do is try to pass a bill. It was a very controversial bill at the time that they would try to pass it to make it to where all flags in government buildings inside the state of Florida would be made in the United States with fibers grown in the United States. And as a principal, he never flinched when people out in the community were attacking the kids and the teacher that was standing there saying, this needs to happen. And after it happened, it seems like it was the greatest thing in the world. But it never would have happened had it not been for the man that's standing here today. There's a lot of things that many people inside of here don't, may not know happened in O'Galley throughout the tenure of, of Mr. Solomon. But I will tell you this, in 2011 I got a phone call when I was teaching at Space Coast High School and I had an individual say, hey Matt, I'd love to have you come over and teach at my school. And I came over there and I came and it was Jeremy calling me to come teach from Space Coast. And when I got there, he basically said, we want to create a new vision for our students and we recreated the Commodore Crazies. I was the one that had the All-American Flag Act passed. We had all kinds of things that were there that gave the opportunity, and I look across at all the other teachers and staff that are inside this great school. And I will tell you, the staff that is at O'Galley High School, and I'm going to say it here and I'm going to get myself in trouble, is, a, is an amazing staff and I think is the best staff that is inside the Bard Public Schools and stands to it today. Your kids benefit from the best staff and the main reason is because of the leader that stands here today and he has given the opportunities to the kids behind. I just wanted to take a second because it's the last time that him and I will share a stage together and say thank you to all of the work that he's done for the graduates. I want to say thank you to all of the parents that are here and thank you for all the veterans that serve. Thank you very much. My goodness, another year has flown by. We find ourselves between the memories of the last 12 months and the anxiety that the future holds for the graduates on stage tonight. There is no doubt that we will not soon forget the extraordinary year where we tried to create our new normal. With the altered school years prior to this one that denied our graduates from so many opportunities and events, it's important for us to focus on the resiliency of this class and the wonderful things that they have achieved. Graduation has always provided us with an opportunity to reflect, to think back over the past four years and revel at our accomplishments, to remember what we've learned from our setbacks and victories, and to determine what path we will follow from this day forward. I can't hardly believe that it's been four years already since these young men and women became part of the Commodore Nation. The students may not remember this, but four years ago during their freshman orientation, one of the activities that they participated in was to sign their name on a graduation gown as a commitment to graduating. That gown is on display tonight right here in the corner. All their signatures are on there. As 
you may know, as you may be aware, we create a theme each year. This year's theme was an acronym, Anchored. Arrive on time, nurture your mind, collaborate with classmates and colleagues, honor the dignity of each individual, own your mistakes, remember to have fun, expect rigorous coursework, and demonstrate sportsmanship, collegiality, and kindness. I think it's fair to say that each graduate on stage tonight embraced our theme for the year. Today we'd like to recognize both collective accomplishments from the class and several individuals that stick out in my mind. The graduating class of 2023 has generated nearly $5 million in scholarship funds made available to them next year. Cumulatively, we have 26 students graduating with both their high school diploma and their AA, 26. We have 32 Cambridge Ace candidates, <clears throat> along with 45 Cambridge Ace Diploma recipients. 45. We have 12 valedictorians this year, the most we've ever had. 12. Our four today top scholar is Brianna Burstock. Our congressional medal of merit. Winner is Anna Ferguson. And Nicolette Esp Espedino is a Presidential Scholar Award finalist and she'll be traveling to Washington, D.C. for her recognition. In addition, 152 seniors have successfully passed 317 career and technical education industry certifications this year. That's awesome. And we have six seniors that are committed to the military. <laughs> this exemplifies the mantra of college and career ready. In the, uh, in the athletics arena, O'Galley High School had 14 total Division I full scholarship signings this year. <laughs> we had regional qualifiers in swimming, cross country, golf, football, wrestling, girls basketball, track, tennis, baseball, and softball. We had district championships in girls basketball, baseball, and softball. And finally, we had state participants in bowling and wrestling. We also enjoyed great success in the fine arts department as well. In orchestra, Sarah Bizak made the Florida All-State Orchestra the NAFME All National Orchestra and Carnegie Hall National Youth Orchestra. <laughs> Marley Apple made third chair Florida All State Orchestra. Lisa <laughs> Fulford made second chair Brevard All County Orchestra. And the Gallic High School Orchestra was one of only two schools selected to play at the FMEA State Conference. <laughs> of course, this year, we had ten all-county vocalists representing O'Galley High School, nine of which were seniors. Jarvis Dwayne Moore was selected as a soloist in a small group with a full, for the full all-county chorus. Five seniors are going to Eastern Florida State College on full chorus scholarships. And senior Anthony Pino was accepted into the U University of Central Florida School of Music, school as a music education major this fall. <laughs> in band, the marching Commodores participated in multiple competitions, one of which they placed second out of 15 other bands. And on top of that quality victory, they earned superior ratings at their marching music performance assessments. Throughout the year, our band program has participated in over 50 performances. These performances range from community events, competitions, assessments, as well as solo and small ensemble performances. The three concert bands also had successful performances at their music performance assessments. The band seniors have been instrumental, no pun intended, in the success of the band throughout the year. Give them round of applause. Theater, Anthony Pino uh, had leading roles in both our plays this year. He earned all-state cast designation at districts, represented us at
at state theater competitions and was acting associate creative director for our troupe. Katie Mishner was runner-up best in show for costume design at our district competition this year, earned a superior rating at state competition, was the acting technical director of our spring musical, and will be attending UCF for their technical theater and stage management program in the fall. <laughs> Over the last four years, this class has certainly seen its share of academic, athletic, and performing arts recognitions. Individually, there are so many stories to be told, I simply can't cover them all. But here are some memories and superlatives that I'll take with me as I move forward from tonight. First, I would like to recognize two students that are not here tonight that were tragically lost this year. Wyatt Johns, a senior this year, and Dylan Dye, who was in our, in our BLAST program. We remember them tonight with fond memories and respect. It is a reminder that life is short we need to embrace each and every day. Can we please have a moment of silence for them now? Thank you. The next event that I'll remember will be watching the seniors paint their parking spots. This activity has become a senior class tradition. The creativity, school spirit, and students covered in paint make this a special event. I'll miss talking with Caleb Durfus and Marcelo Gelpi every day at lunch. I'll miss seeing Connor Long walk his brother Nathan to class every morning before school as he's done for the last four years. I'll miss the crazy antics and the energy of Andrew Buxton. Him asking me to dance at the homecoming dance was just par for the course for him. There's one more commenter that I want to highlight as this student has made an indelible impression on me. Here are some of this student's accomplishments. A 4.33 weighted GPA, an ACE diploma candidate, was dual enrolled at Eastern, Eastern Florida State College, four-year AVID student, volunteer for Special Olympics, played basketball for four years. He's a member of the following groups and organizations on campus, National Honor Society, Beta Club, Thirst Club, Anti-Bullying Club, Sources of Strength organization, was the vice president of the senior class, and <clears throat> was a participant in our student voice activities. To me, this is what being a Commodore is all about. Learning, leading, thriving in, in and out of the classroom, participating in extracurricular activities, impacting our community, and most importantly, doing all of that with a positive attitude in a humble manner that is absolutely contagious. This year, Derek Collins received the ninth annual Principal's Award. In my mind, he embodies what my vision of an Abyali Commodore should be. Motivated, strong character, great integrity, a servant's heart, and a leader among his peers. Congratulations, Derek. My parting, th my parting thoughts for this class come from a poem entitled, What Will Matter, by Michael Josephson. So what will matter? How will the value of your days be measured? What will matter is not what you bought, but what you built. Not what you got, but what you gave. What will matter is not your success, but your significance. What will matter is not what you learned, but what you taught. What will matter is every act of integrity, compassion, courage, or sacrifice that enriched, empowered, or encouraged others to emulate your example. What will matter is not your competence, but your character. What will matter is not how many people you knew, but how many will feel a lasting loss when you're gone. What will matter is not your memories, but the memories that live in those who loved you. That will matter how long you will be remembered by whom and for what. Living a life that matters doesn't happen by accident. It's not a matter of circumstance, but of choice. Choose to live a life that matters. Class of 2023, go forth and do great things. It's now my pleasure to introduce our amazing speakers. We have three tonight. 
First will be class president and valedictorian Lewis Cam, who will be attending the University of Florida. Following Lewis will be the valedictorian Josephine Callahan, who is also attending the University of Florida. And finally, valedictorian Pauline uh, Trowell, Trowell, I'm sorry, I mispronounced that, who will be attending the University of Central Florida. Lewis? Good evening, and dear fellow graduates. As student council president and one of the valedictorians, I am honored to speak to you all today and to recollect our high school experience. I'd like to first recognize our beloved sports coaches, staff, faculty, and of course, our amazing teachers who guided us and stuck with us throughout our four years to give us this amazing opportunity to graduate. Along with them, I'd also like to recognize the parents, friends, and families that are here to congratulate sons and daughters who have achieved one of the most memorable days of our lives. Today is a day to celebrate, a day to reflect, and a day to look forward to our upcoming endeavors and journeys. We have faced many challenges, overcome obstacles, and have collaboratively created a community that will forever be memorable. It is hard to grasp how far we have made it and to recognize the never-ending accomplishments that each and every one of us has achieved. After four long years of hard work, late night study sessions, and en endless extracurricular activities, we are finally here to walk across the stage and continue to inspire others along with creating a positive footprint on this world. Let's give a round of applause for the class of 2023. And as we move on to the next chapter of our lives, the class of 2023 will look back at the amazing memories that were created at O'Gallon. However, let us be real. And no, I'm not talking about the ad that took over social media, which most of us forgot about. I'm talking about the fact that high school was not all sunshine and rainbows. We had our fair share of struggles, setbacks, missed headlines, but we also had moments of triumph and joy. And that is what I want to focus on today, the moments that made our high school experience unforgettable. From the first football game to our last, uh, to, from the first football game to our first pep rally, to the last prom in our last few weeks at school, these memories are what shaped us into who we are and how we represent EG Prep. <laughs> I remember my first day of school. The anxiety, stress, and self-consciousness was overbearing because of the new environment in front of me. However, seeing the upperclassmen and their enlightening perspective on school made me realize that they were also in my shoes at one point in their high school experience. <laughs> However, while stumbling across my new friends, new teachers, and a new community, O'Galley has really felt like my second home. And I guess we could say that we started from the bottom, and now we are finally here. Aside from countless essays, exams, and homework, high school is what shaped me into the person that I am today. However, we have to remember that this is only a small chapter in the journey of our lives. And you know what they say about high school. Oh, don't worry. High school will be the best four years of your life. But I'm pretty sure that that person never lost their anchor hour for three years straight. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and after graduation, these students and myself will continue to progress through their lives and achieve things unthinkable. And this could not have happened without the support, collaboration, and celebration that O'Galley has offered to us all. And as many of you may or may not know, this is Mr. Solomon and Mr. Hinkle's last year at O'Galley High School. I would like to recognize their efforts and time that they put into this great community. Whether it was a football game, to concerts for musical performances, they were always there to support the programs of O'Galley. Today marks the end of one chapter and the beginning of another. It is a time for rejoice, joy, and gratitude. Our education has given us the tools to create positive change in the world, and now it is up to us to use it. As we embark on our next journey, let us be driven by our passion, purpose, and vision. And remember to never be afraid to take those risks and to be the change that you wish to see in this world. So as we walk out of here today, let us do so with our heads held high, our hearts full of hope, and our spirits ready to make a difference. I conclude my speech with a closer. Savor the taste of your triumphs today. Don't just consume them all without digesting what is actually happening here. Look down over what you conquered and appreciate what God has brought you through. Congratulations to the class of 2023. Go forth and be very clear. Thank you again.
family, faculty, and students. Thank you all for coming here today. My name is Josephine Callahan, and I'm proud to be a member of this year's graduating class. First, I would like to thank the faculty of O'Galley for always working for our benefit, from the teachers to the guidance counselors, and everyone who works behind the scenes to keep this school running, as well as the families who have supported us these past four years. We all spend our time at O'Galley working towards something, whatever it was. For me, it was the ACE Diploma in Performing Theater. Some of you spent your time working for an AA degree from Eastern Florida State College or a certification in one of the career and technical programs like aviation or automotives. Other students devoted years to sports like wrestling and football or music such as band and orchestra. And I think we've all come to be proud of those ambitions and what we've accomplished in regard to them. We all came to a valley for an education. And in my time here, I can safely say I learned a lot, more than I could have asked for. But it was everything else that happened along the way that made these years memorable. Studying all night for the SAT the next morning, karaoke events, clubs, dancing in the senior parking lot, homecoming, going to sports games, writing essays, rewriting essays, prom, all of it shaped our lives, made us who we are today. In my time here, I've made friends that I'll carry with me long after we've said our final goodbyes, and memories that I'll hold on to with both hands. We've all been through a lot together, and there were challenging times, but we've made it here. That is something to be proud of. It's important to remember that this is the product of our hard work, and that as much as the faculty and our families have supported us and helped us, it is ultimately the achievement of each and every student up here today. We carried ourselves through every struggle. My theater teacher, Ms. Z, once told me that the person you will spend the most time with in your life is yourself. So, you should make sure that's someone you can live with. And I believe that is how we should conduct ourselves moving forward, in light of the many life-defining decisions we will have to make. It's important that whatever you do, you do it for yourself first and foremost. Otherwise, you're doing it wrong. Even if it takes some of us longer, I believe all of us are going to find our place in the world. And I'm excited for that future. I'm ready for it. I think we all are. It's finally time to lift those anchors up and sail to new horizons. I'll see you on the seas. Good evening, administration, faculty, special guests, and the class of 2023. My name is Paulina Tavrel, and I'm so honored to be standing here today as an Valley High School valedictorian. I'd like to congratulate all of my peers as we have done it and we have reached our goal. Let's get another round of applause. <laughs> now, honestly, when I was asked to prepare a speech for graduation, I have to admit that I was a bit intimidated. I sat there for days thinking about what I should write about, potential themes, and I practically gave up until about two days before the speech deadline. But I kept thinking about a memory I had from years ago, where I wondered what graduation would look like, what it would feel like, and what I would experience. But I always envisioned myself a few words of inspiration. So I thought back to one of my favorite quotes by author Alan Cohen, stating, do not wait until the conditions are perfect to begin. And I was indeed waiting for the conditions to be perfect to begin writing my speech. And I was sitting there hoping to be struck by a wave of motivation until it hit me, and immediately I thought of Poland. Now for those of you who don't know me, I'm a proud first generation American whose parents came to the United States from Poland. I could talk endlessly, trust me, I could, about my love for the country or its rich history, but I'll just share a few thoughts with you. So, when reminiscing about high school, I will truly remember both the good times and the challenging times. And in Polish, the word for struggle is trudności. One of my struggles that I faced on a daily, or one of my trudności, was picking an outfit for school. It may seem trite, 
but I still deal with it on the daily. <laughs> However, my parents never let me hear the end about their real struggles while growing up in Poland. For example, I've heard many tales about the journeys and the treks that my parents gave and took on their way to school. My mother would tell me about her two-mile walk through waist-deep snow and the frost that would form on the tips of her hair. I'm being serious. <laughs> Whereas my dad, when he had to take a shortcut to school, he would run across the frozen lake located in front of the school. Until one day, he learned the hard way that the ice was not frozen. Although my five-minute drive down Croton Road isn't comparable to my parents' snowy and icy journeys, I still dealt with my own challenges, some of which we shared, like attending school during the worldwide pandemic. During our freshman year, when it felt like we had finally gained a stable foundation, and we gained footing in this intimidating world of high school, our realities were abruptly altered. I remember thinking to myself, we have a two week long spring break, which then turned into a month off. You know, I loved that time to myself. Until finally, after 11 months at home, I couldn't wait to be back at O'Galley. I couldn't wait to walk down the halls, waving to my teachers, sharing lunch with friends, and longing for those struggles of picking my outfits in the morning. But before we knew it, we had shared our last waves, we had shared our last moments together, and we exited the school one last time. When we think of struggle, we think of pain, fear, and uncertainty. But that should not be the case. What I challenge each of you to do from now on is as filmmaker Thomas Bragg says, to seek discomfort. Humans were made for discomfort, as if we stay within our limits, we will stop growing, learning, and experimenting. We will never reach our true potential and never grow into the people that we aspire to be. Returning to school after being gone for nearly a year was incredibly uncomfortable. Just as I imagined entering school with frosty hair or soaking wet clothes was incredibly uncomfortable for my parents. But the choice to stay resilient and to chart our own course in our own direction has led us to this destination today. If you wait for the conditions to be perfect, and you wait for all of those pieces to fall into place, you may miss the boat. You may never write that speech. But those of us who stayed strong, we can now close this chapter that we opened four years ago. I truly believe that this class of 2023 is the most determined and adaptable group yet. I cannot wait for a new chapter to begin as I know that our successes will be boundless. Reclaim your footing as your foundation at O'Valley High School is as stable as ever. Now please enjoy these last moments together as a family. Smile, laugh, Rejoice, nie poddawaj się, don't give up, and embrace the struggle. Thank you. Let's give our speakers one more round of applause. It is my pleasure to welcome to the stage the O'Galley High School Choir under the direction of Mr. Warner.
Before we move forward, I'd like to take a moment to remind all our participants and guests that tonight is a special ceremony, not a celebration. Earlier today, our graduates celebrated with an awards program and a picnic, and many graduates will attend celebrations tonight. Every graduate deserves and has earned their place on stage, and we want to honor each student with respect as their name is called and as they're walking across the stage. So please save the air horns and shout outs for the parking lot as each of you continues your own celebration after our ceremony. Thank you. It is my pleasure to confer a diploma upon each of these students. The class will be led by the class officers, the valedictorians, the students who will be receiving both their Associate of Arts degree and high school diploma concurrently. The Cambridge ACE diploma recipients and candidates will follow. The president of Eastern Florida State College, Dr. James Rickey, and the board of trustees sends this message to our graduates that are graduating with their AA. It is my honor to confer upon you the academic degree of Associate of Arts. In doing so, I also assign you all of the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. With that being said, let's get started. Cam, senior class president, valedictorian, Asian Diploma candidate, and honor graduate. Derek Maurice Collins II, senior class vice president, Asian Diploma candidate, and honor graduate. Olivia Jane Reed, senior class treasurer, Asian Diploma recipient, and honor graduate. Madison Ray Hawkins, senior class secretary. Ace Plum recipient and honor graduate. Lydia Grace Hinkle, senior class Commodore representative, Ace Diploma candidate and honor graduate. Christopher John Corelli, senior class ambassador, Ace Diploma candidate, honor graduate. Alyssa Nicole Schneider, senior class representative, valedictorian, Ace Diploma recipient. Honor graduate, Associate of Arts degree. Brianna Birstock, valedictorian, Associate of Arts degree, Ace Palmer recipient, and honor graduate. Kate Alexa Benton, valedictorian, Ace Palmer recipient, honor graduate, and student government representative. Sarah Elizabeth Bissat, valedictorian, Ace Palmer recipient, and honor graduate. Melissa Valedictorian, Associate of Arts degree, honor graduate, and Ace Diploma recipient. Josephine Ann Callahan, Valedictorian, Ace Diploma recipient, and honor graduate. Joshua Christopher Dexter, Valedictorian, Ace Diploma recipient, and honor graduate. Nicolette Lorraine Espino, valedictorian, Associate of Arts degree, Ace Plum recipient, and honor graduate. Meadow Camry Gallagher, valedictorian, Associate of Arts degree, Ace Plum recipient, and honor graduate. Beta Lane Mister, valedictorian, and honor graduate. Lena Eva Tavrell. Valedictorian, Ace Diploma recipient, and honor graduate. Stephanie Faith Balot, Associate of Arts degree, and honor graduate. Dawson Matthew Bowman, Associate of Arts degree, Ace Diploma recipient, and honor graduate. Anna 
Paula Cruz, Associate's First Degree, Ace Diploma Candidate and Honor Graduate. Aubrey Jean Dowell, Associate's First Degree, Ace Diploma Candidate and Honor Graduate. Morgan Ioni Ewart, Associate's First Degree, Ace Diploma Candidate Recipient and Honor Graduate. Azina Destiny Francis, Ace Diploma Recipient and Honor Graduate. Druso Alexander Fulford, Associate's of Arts Degree, Ace Diploma Recipient and Honor Graduate. Anthony West Garcia Sanchez, Associate's of Arts Degree and Honor Graduate. Lucas Alexander Gabrielides, Associate's of Arts Degree, Ace Diploma Recipient and Honor Graduate. Alexis Elizabeth Halbert, Associate's of Arts Degree and Honor Graduate. Caden Pierce Hewitt, Associate's of Arts Degree, Honor Graduate. Alexis J. Boylan Bird, Associate's of Arts Degree, Ace Diploma Candidate and Honor Graduate. Evan Ikija Jones, Associate's of Arts Degree and Honor Graduate. Stanley Key, Associate's of Arts Degree, Ace Diploma Recipient and Honor Graduate. Ellen Ann Kirby, Associate's of Arts Degree, Ace Diploma Recipient and Honor Graduate. Holden Lewis Brittner, Associate's of Arts Degree, Honor Graduate, Ace Diploma Candidate. Anthony David Pino, Associate's of Arts Degree, Ace Diploma Recipient and Honor Graduate. Ariana Riley Postinelli, Associate's of Arts Degree, Ace Diploma Candidate and Honor Graduate. Emily Elizabeth Reardigan, Associate's of Arts Degree and Honor Graduate. D'Angelo Christopher Rigogliosi, Associate's of Arts Degree and Honor Graduate. Justin T. Tran, Associate's of Arts Degree, Ace Diploma Recipient and Honor Graduate. Marley Wickham Appel, Ace Diploma Recipient and Honor Graduate. Logan William Augustine, Ace Diploma Recipient and Honor Graduate. Ann Elizabeth Brooks, Ace Diploma Recipient and Honor Graduate. Daria Mylen Carroll, Ace Diploma Recipient, Honor Graduate. Brianne Ellie Connor, Ace Diploma Recipient and Honor Graduate. Sophia Megan Cooper, Ace Diploma Recipient and Honor Graduate. Michael Allen Corbett, Ace Diploma Recipient. Philip Kenneth Davis, Ace Diploma Recipient and Honor Graduate. Madison Kathleen Rose DeVillers, Ace Diploma Recipient and Honor Graduate. Zachary Robert Harris, Ace Diploma Recipient and Honor Graduate. Marcelo Maldonado, Ace Diploma Recipient and Honor Graduate. Ace is Ace the Pulp recipient and honor graduate, and he doesn't have his card. <laughs> Jacqueline Angelina Nagel, Ace the Pulp recipient and honor graduate. Jason Pham Wynn, Ace the Pulp recipient and honor graduate. Hannah Elizabeth Norris, Ace the Pulp recipient. Jake. Ace Diploma Recipient, Honor Graduate. Isabel Marie Reed, Ace Diploma Recipient. Kaylee Morales Reynoso, Ace Diploma Recipient and Honor Graduate. Connor Owen Rogers, Ace Diploma Recipient and Honor Graduate. Casey Alexander Rouse, Ace Diploma Recipient and Honor Graduate. Jenna Morgan Thompson, Ace Diploma Recipient and Honor Graduate. Katherine Tran, 
Ace Diploma recipient and honor graduate. Sheila Tran, Ace Diploma recipient and honor graduate. Stella Rose Anderson, Ace Diploma candidate and honor graduate. Gregory Austin Bayer, Ace Diploma candidate. Justin Michael Boyles, Ace Diploma Candidate and Undergraduate. Elizabeth Serino Garcia, Ace Diploma Candidate and Undergraduate. Lucas William Craycroft, Ace Diploma Candidate. Jack Ryan Freckman, Ace Diploma Candidate and Undergraduate. Kaylee Lou Gibbs, Ace Diploma Candidate and Honor Graduate. Nolan Richard Griffin, Ace Diploma Candidate, Honor Graduate. Caitlin Mia Harris, Ace Diploma Candidate. Ariana Danielle Holmquist, Ace Diploma Candidate. Matthias Felipe Goncalves Lacerda, Ace Diploma Candidate and Honor Graduate. Elizabeth Margaret Lennon, Ace Diploma Candidate and Honor Graduate. Jacob Colin Glenn Maddox, Ace Diploma Candidate and Honor Graduate. Eric Leslin Miller, Ace Diploma Candidate. Shane Jacob Miller, Ace Diploma Candidate, Honor Graduate. Ashley Jordan Parks, Ace Diploma Candidate, Honor Graduate. Sarah Irma Powers, Ace Diploma Candidate, Honor Graduate. Samantha Rose Surratt, Ace Diploma Candidate, Honor Graduate. Scott Cates Streetman, Ace Diploma Candidate, Honor Graduate. Ariana Marie Torrealba, Ace Diploma Candidate, Honor Graduate. Elise J. Williams, Ace Diploma Candidate, and Honor Graduate. Eric Augustus Willie, Ace Diploma Candidate, and Honor Graduate. Ashley Elizabeth Wilson, Ace Diploma Candidate, Honor Graduate. Jasmine Claire Acosta. Joshua Robert Ayala, Honor Graduate. Trinity Marie Alfrey. Alexandra Ray Andrews Hutchison. Kalia Loretta Symphony Andriani. Neve Bella Arce, Honor Graduate. Jacob Batella Arguelles. Brianna Nicole Arnold. Colin Patrick Ash. Ethan Leon Baldwin. Daniela Isabel Baranicchia Roa.
Tristan Ann Bradley, honor graduate. Mary Siana Monica Brito. Leah Lynn Bryan. Tony Lee Bryan. Cassandra Sue Buchanan. Randolph Esther Buchanan. Alexis Sky Burns. Michael Lee Burst Jr. Sasha Linda Bush, honor graduate. Gavin Andrew Busquets, honor graduate. Corey Aiden Calandra, honor graduate. Naomi Calvo. Jali Zion Campbell. Richard John Campos. Elizabeth Danielle Carriaga. Ian Nathaniel Carter, honor graduate. Jade Sierra Castile Anderson. Giovanni Chavez Pena. Luis Antonio Chavez Lepi. Charles James Clark, honor graduate. Clay Austin Klaus. Alexa Ann Marie Cochran. Riley Emma Connor. Rachel Michelle Costello, honor graduate. Aaron Ray Cundiff, honor graduate. <laughs> Samantha Elizabeth Dahl. <laughs> Xavier Alexander Dale. <laughs> Scarlett Sierra Dandria. <laughs> Isabella Irene Dansby, honor graduate. <laughs> Alexander Michael Davis, honor graduate. Mark Anthony Dennis. Manford Joseph Dentis. Robert Caleb Durkus, honor graduate. Joshua James Dexter. Naya Delia Cruz. Justice May Diaz, honor graduate. Emmanuel Elijah Diaz. Jaden Mackay Williams de Penta. <laughs> Emily Rose Dolan. <laughs> Lerana Star Donaldson. Tyler Jacob Donnelly, honor graduate. <laughs> Chloe Shy Marie Dyke. <laughs> Evan Therese Elam. Ronald Jose Estevez Avila. Aaron Mackay Felty. <laughs> Anna Louise Ferguson, honor graduate. <laughs> Liam Stryker Finn. Alejandro Joseph Flores, honor graduate. <laughs> Felicia Renee Flowers. Kaylee Jade Flint. <laughs> Christy Dale Folsom. Abby Lou Francisco. Skyler Jordan Franklin. <laughs> Louis Ernesto Garcia. Marcelo Adrian Galpi Rosado. Honor graduate. Bessie Alexandra Garon Reynosa, honor graduate. <laughs> Ayana Yolette Gonzalez. <laughs> Katie Jane Goodman. <laughs> Codrick Jamari Graham. 
Anthony Lee Bernardo Jr. Macy Grace Brantlin. Jaden Markel Green, honor graduate. Devin Anthony Grisafi. Olivia Marie Gocini. Antonio Pincel Hadley Wolfer. Jacquez Tacoma Hardy. Jay Harrison Harper. Lauren Alejandra Hendrickson Zaldivar, honor graduate. Emily Celeste Herndon, honor graduate. Stephen Thomas Herndon. Juan Pablo Herrera Marlanda, honor graduate. Parker James Hyam White. Ryan Joseph Hirsch. Damon Dwayne Hodum. Samarian Jamarcus Horn. Taylia Huff. Jenna Jablawi. Riley Joseph Jackson, undergraduate. Cameron. E. Johnson. Thank you. Takira Nicole Johnson. Kira James Johnson, undergraduate. Takira Dasani Johnson, honor graduate. Angie Giselle Johansson Felites. Aliyah Marie Huddle. Danielle Jordan. Daryl Bryant Joseph II. Faith Elizabeth Kennel, honor graduate. Jack Spence Hershey, honor graduate. Mason Stephen Colano. James Edward King, Jr. Jemaya Shamaje Chantrell King. Cassandra Roman Grace Freshman. Harley Marie Groger. Jessica Nicole Lacey. Kaylin Elizabeth Lane. Jacob Matthew Limblom Cook. Ileana Grace Linger, honor graduate. Megan Jules Loft, honor graduate. Connor James Long, honor graduate, and Nathaniel Eben Long. Keone Martin. 
Timothy Lee Martin, Jr. Anthony Lee Martinez, honor graduate. Mateo, <laughs> Isabel Matos, <laughs> Amaya Mays, <laughs> Teal Marie Mayhew. Jenna Elaine McCarty. Dylan Scott McKenzie, honor graduate. Haley Ryan McMillan. Seat Lolly Mendoza. Damian Allen Miller. Emily Lorraine Mills, honor graduate. Jarvis Duane Alexander Moore. Brandon Urban Maury. McKenna Grace Morissette. David Scott Morrissey. Drew Allen Morrissey. Jesus Alberto Mosqueda. Kelsey J. Nicole Mueller. Emma Marie Musselwhite. Carlos Javier Davis Alman. Gabriela Marie Nazario. Christian William Neal, honor graduate. Dylan Michael Neal, honor graduate. Yuri Alexis Newell, honor graduate. Brandon Matthew Wynn, honor graduate. Jaden Giovanni Oliverio. Timothy Michael Ordone, honor graduate. Isabel Jean Overton. Antoinette Doreen Pagillo. Honor graduate. Carlos Felicios Penaloza. Kira Aliyah Lenore Parker. Honor graduate. Janaya Valician Leangi Parker Johnson. Ansley Nix Patterson. Honor graduate. Jaden Alajua Patterson. Ariana Renee Patton Belka, honor graduate. Dante Antonio Finberthy. Michael Lawrence Perry. Nick Pham. Rutland Fell. Kaylin Matthew Bloss. Charles Abrantis Powell. Michael Christopher Powers, honor graduate. Jaden Poole. Aaron Ely Quinn, honor graduate. Isabella Marita Ramirez, honor graduate. Jared Cole Ransom. Cora McKenzie Reesener. Spencer Wilhelm Rydell. Sile Michelle Rios Neveres. Andrew Hans Rittinger. Yabiel Rivera. Charlize 
Emily Rogers. Estefania Rodriguez Galvez. Hylina Janet Rodriguez. Miguel Rojas Fuentes. Christopher Matthew Rowe. Ashanti Marie Ruiz. Genesis Naomi Sumaya. Anaya Samira Sanders. Gislaine Sophie Santi Stavon Use. Alexander William Searles, honor graduate. Vishad Lamar Shaw. Kyler Ray Sheehan. Tobias Gavin Shore. Michaela J. Cecilia. Luke Deguzis Silva. Lulabelle Payton Ann Silvers. Kaylee Madison Sims, honor graduate. Nathaniel Schober. Tad Riley Schlinger. Kaylin Theodore Smith. Garrett Lee Smith, honor graduate. Ethan Joseph. Amber Elizabeth Spatafora, honor graduate. Curly Lee Spencer. Kendall Brooke Sperry. Zeke Joshua St. Helen. Damian Michael Stagner. Catherine Elizabeth Stanley. Elijah Michael Stanton. Jalen Alejandrina Stewart. Colton Jack Strange. Logan Charles Strong. Wayne. Michael Sumner, Elijah Aaron Sikris, undergraduate, Destiny Lynn Taylor, Armani Elisa May Thomas, undergraduate, Haley Elizabeth Thompson, Stetson Lee Thompson, honor graduate. Jude Obed Tenor. Jada Lynn Tolan. Christian Matthew Tony. Fatima Torisha Pena. Kylie Payton Tormolan, honor graduate. Lily Ann Turnberg. Malik Tremaine Tyson. Alaya Emil Vega Figueroa. Jonathan Edward Ward. Renee Susan Renee Warlock. Logan Wayne Watson. Isabel Elaine Wade. Tamson Marie Carson Webster. Yasmin Jewel Joda Wiker. Jada Faith Wilson. Cole Edward Wilson, honor graduate. Talon Cole Winchy. 
Abigail, the Dawn, June, Woods, Julie, Ann, Woods, Brianna, Shanae, Latrice, Wright, Safiya, Yasin, Jemaniya, Rose, Humans. Senior High School. I now present to you the class of 2023. 